So, as we all know, a couple of weeks ago, Overwatch canceled the PvE mode. Everyone was rightfully angry about this. Okay, rightfully angry about this. But it seems that every time they get in a controversy, they use a certain community for attention to try to deflect from the PL. It is actually kind of sickening if you think about it. We all know they complain about sexualizing the female characters in 2016. They made Tracer gay. Yep. They There was a whole Blitzchung controversy. They made Soldier gay in that sort. They hinted towards it, but now it's confirmed. And now, they want to try to, they want to, try to think that they can deflect from the PvE controversy by doing the same thing. It's just so sad that Blizzard, they can't, can't take accountability for their own actions. And that's at least apologize to the player base for lying about them and addressing the controversy of getting rid of PvE. Overwatch, you guys promised PvE would be in the game. You guys promised this. You guys said, we're going to be giving you this mode. This PvE mode. We're going to be giving you a story mode. But weeks later, it just seems that all they're doing is trying to deflect from the controversy of Overwatch 2 PvE being cancelled. Okay. It was a proper ambitious plan to want to make an Overwatch MMO. But the PvE Overwatch is now dead. Okay. Yeah. And we all know. They. We all know. Overwatch 2. No one is playing Overwatch 2. Okay. No one is playing Overwatch 2. Overwatch 2 is dead. Okay. It's even more dead than the first game was before Overwatch 2 came out. That's how bad Overwatch 2 is. Okay. Yet, first of all, the positive comments. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, poop game. Your game was bad. Overwatch One was better. I will forever miss the memories. Jeff Capital was always the best director for Overwatch. Wrong with my Jeff. Okay, you know here. We in the comments to see why Pride Month is necessary. Okay, here's here's the questions. Here's the questions we should be asking. Where is PVE? Where is it? Okay, where is it? Okay, where? Why did we get rid of PVE? Okay. Let me get this straight. Blizzard doesn't have enough money or resources to work on something that was promised when they made Overwatch 2, which was Overwatch 2, which was PvE. But they have enough time, money, and resources to make it about pride and turn the character trans. Yes. Again, PvE is more expensive, but come on. You guys promised this in 2019. Okay, you guys promised this. Okay. But we all know why they're doing this. Because they want to try to deflect. You know, to get the Twitter cry. No, to, to get the Twitter people to cry for Overwatch. To get the Twitter people to side with Overwatch. I don't think it's working anymore. Okay, they did it the first two times. Because they know. That they oh, will celebrate. I will not be buying anything. Okay. Now start insta-banning people who use trolls in the game. But they probably don't. They probably never will. But I can't keep up with them now. Because they come out every week for 15 to 20. So because of that and this reason. I will not be getting the skins. Because again. Not in this economy. Yes. It's a smart choice not to pay $15 or $20 for a freaking skin. Okay. Overwatch 2 is a cash grab. That's all it is. Okay. Well, but nice to Overwatch 1 to be available outside the US. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Naked skins. <laughs> yeah. And then we have... This one. Pride is coming to Overwatch 2 starting June 1st. 
ba 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 okay but don't worry pve that's never coming okay we lied to you about that pve is never ever coming to overwatch okay something that we promised will be coming to the game and i'm deleting by felisa well most people are not are still been doing Overwatch 2 since the game came out because Overwatch 2 is an overpriced store that doesn't, you know, make Overwatch better. Okay. Yeah. Can I just please give play a game without all this? I didn't see a single thing for Black History Month. Again, you'll never be able to please these people. Okay. It was going down so since announcing Tracer wasn't normal, then Soldier wasn't. And now starting down the old game we did get a sequel. The reprise of the not so <laughs> Yeah, okay. But we can work at the comments all day. Okay. Yeah, the Overwatch community is dwindling by the numbers, as we all know. Okay. Because P the the Overwatch developers keep backstabbing the overwatch community okay okay will toaster be added to the game i have something in the game to identify if that that very toaster phobic what i need is this is why i need is that pve ever consider that you know arabic Arabian Islamic audience of the game. You just watched about 40% of the game's community thanks to this nonsense. Thankfully, you keep bullying this game themselves. When all else fails, go woke. Overwatch is under fire for sexualizing female characters when they could have easily just done nothing about it. But, but again, they had to bow down to the Twitter mob and make Tracer LGBT because the whole controversy was over Tracer. Says Tracer's butt pose was stupid. And, you know, no one, no, okay, they made that out of proportion. Okay, Overwatch was up for bad man, and that was the bit tongue controversy. And now the why about PvE? Well, Winston becomes trans the next day. F up. Okay. You cancel PvE, now this? I'm quitting. Okay. Instead of going out PvE. Okay. So Pride is coming, but PvE isn't? Gotcha. Four years of content, three years of our content. Then they have times and reasons to release PVE. Overwatch the team PVE watching me how they give a whole entire middle finger to the whole community. I'll give it a month. Yet the game doesn't give any company that's just a bad cash grab. Okay, hopefully proud that Blizzard did not cancel the PVE or that there's new content. Okay. Is this the event the reason why they canceled the PVE mode? Why did the players add some sense that no one wants and scrap the reason why there was no content for years? Don't worry about the player reactions to this. We have the prize up so no one will remember. We are a good company with no sexual offenders. And you keep going on and on and on. Okay. Yeah. And no one is buying this. No one will be playing Overwatch, okay? The player base is dying for this game, okay? Also, the thing is also being banned in certain countries. Who would have guessed that in certain countries, it will be blocked, okay? That they would ban the event in certain countries. No one surprised. And Overwatch 2's player base has declined drastically since, you know, PvE has been dropped. Like, it's gonna continue to decline as Blizzard continues to make more and more bad decisions with Overwatch 2 being really just a SOP upgrade. Overwatch 2 should be really be called Overwatch 1.1. Okay, it's not Overwatch 2, it's Overwatch 1.1. Okay, it is nothing more than a SOP update because they wanted to try to make the game quote unquote less controversial. Every time, but it just seems that they make the game more and more controversial. And eventually, Overwatch's player base will dwindle to zero and they'll shut down the game, similar to multiverses. So, 
what happened to Overwatch? Really? Okay, what happened to the game? Okay, they shut down PvE and they betrayed the entire Overwatch fandom. Then by promising us there will be a PvE story mode, but never came to here. Does anyone even care about the universe of Overwatch? I don't anymore. Goodbye.